Hey Virgos, I hope you all having a great day today. So, um, I was at work and I got a phone call from somebody and she had, her last name was the first name of my mother, Dora, D-O-R-A, which I thought was kind of strange well, weird or whatever. And I said, huh, that's my mother's name. Maybe that's just a message from her telling me hello. Okay. Um, so I wanted to just come on and do a reading for you all because I got a, a feeling that uh, maybe some of you all are missing your, your mother or your father, but this message is going to be about your mother who has, has passed away. Uh, messages from mom from heaven. This is for Virgo. Messages from mom from heaven. Remember me by the happy memories we created. Okay. Pictures you've taken together. Posing if, if you have sisters and brothers, but these are pictures that your mother is referring to with just you and she and I'm not just like the whole family though it could be but pictures of you and her okay together I was met by so many loving people she is with the people who she loved most on the other side they greeted her they they ushered her toward the other side okay messages from mom from heaven I am just a thought away. Hmm. If you need her, she's right there with you. Always. Uh, just there next to you. Always, always there for you. Some of you may be even looking up at the at the sky. <coughs> excuse me, and seeing maybe images or different things in the sky, faces, animals, poodles, whatever it is, maybe seeing stuff in the sky. And it's something that you probably did, you know, when you were little with your uh with your mom. Okay. Messages from Mom from Heaven for Virgo. We have the Sun card and we have the eight, the, the Page of Cups. Be try to be more happier in your life. Seek seek out happiness because happiness is there for you. Happiness is for the taking if you will allow it. Maybe some of you all are feeling happy in your life right now. Maybe a little stressed out for whatever reason. Just a cup of sunshine. I'm hearing the cup of sunshine. I'm hearing that song too. Um, Look who's talking. I'm walking on sunshine. I want you to walk on sunshine. Enjoy your life more. Have the emperor here. And we have the communication. Some of y'all have heard from your mother. Maybe through a dream. Um, maybe you have heard your mother call out your name. You turn around like, what's that? <laughs> you know, I thought I heard somebody call my name. She's, she's just a thought away. She is always with you. Always around you. Always near you. Maybe she, her favorite flower was sunflower. Okay. She's like, I'm, 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 this is your message, or I'm leaving a message for you. Some of y'all have maybe had a phone to ring, okay, and nobody was on the other end. That's her communicating with you. Messages from mom from the other side, please, for Earth, please. Ancestral patterns, healing and, re and rewriting the future. There are some ancestral baggage that have taken place in your family's life, lineage, your like your present family, your sisters and brothers the, that you grew up with or whatever, the home that you grew up in. There are some patterns that need to be healed. Um, and you probably are that change agent in your family, uh, Virgo, that has changed a lot of, of things that, that was that was handed down to you and your siblings and your family, your mother, father, within your family that has taken place that, that has been going on for generations and generations. And you have probably been the one to eradicate those those negativities and break the change, break the chains that, that no longer serve you too. Let me tell you something. Hold on. I'm hearing stuff about could be some diseases. Uh, there could be some um, um abortions, uh, cer just certain things that you did in your lifetime that's going to break certain patterns, just even breaking uh, certain illnesses in, in the family, different different diseases in the, in the family by, by living your life and doing certain things in your life that you thought was, was, was rotten, was wrong. Take it how it resonates. Abortion, whatever, that's what I'm hearing in my head. It does not fit for everybody. And please don't be negative in the comments. It's not for everybody. If this message is for you, you know exactly who it's for. You don't even have to comment because you know it's for you. All right? But that's what I'm hearing in my head. If, you, if you've if you done some, there was a reason for that abortion. There was a reason for you to do something to yourself and to your body um, because it kind of broke a family 
chain that went on for ancestries for 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 um not ancestry but you get what i'm saying it broke the chain uh from patterns in your ancestral lineage and you're able to heal so the next generation won't go through what you went through because you broke the chain you can't link something that's already broken you get it in this case okay you you have rewritten your history rewritten re rewritten the future so whatever your your um your ancestor did you were still paying for it until you broke that curse until you broke that chain until you broke whatever it was that was holding you back okay your keepers are keepers of the earth you're not alone ancient ancestors ancient ancestors Virgo stand beside you you have your mother standing right there near you because she knows that you're the change agent in your family you were the one in your family you were the the chosen one in your family whether you're the first child the second child middle child whoever whatever place you were in your family even if you were a single child your mother knew that you have some sort of special gift here the change agent here and she's right there next to you Anna grandmother of Jesus seeing seeding the light lying foundations and divine planning somebody may names probably Anna I know that's a common a common name okay the grandmother of Jesus and your grandmother probably was named Anna for some of you too maybe her favorite color was purple she loved the Lord had maybe she was had some Egyptian in her blood or her, the lineage possibly you as well break the chain what is this this card about here I have no earthly worries okay she's not worried about you because she know uh, knows that you're going to live your life and that you're going to do something special with your life here we are again with the with the sunflowers and the sun just being happy radiant the color uh, yellow as well for you breaking the chains and, and two something about if, if, if your mother didn't eat as well as healthy as she should have break that chain and work on your body eating healthier eating more greens and fruits and different things like that breaking the change of unhealthy living and, and eating healthier for yourself and your kids and your family okay keepers of the keepers of the earth some of you are powerful light workers or seers and uh, and energy healers that's your gift that's your destiny that's what you were put here for okay to raise the vibration of the earth what messages does mama have from heaven for the earthlies please you have nothing to feel guilty about if you're feeling guilty about something and whether it has something to do with her when she was living whether it has something to do with whatever it is that's going on in your life now she, she telling you don't feel guilty let it go that's not your battle your battle have our your battle has already been fought and won. All right, don't worry about that. Let's clarify the Anna, grandmother of Jesus card for earthly, please. And this is a message from Mama from Heaven. Message from Mama from Heaven. What does she want you to know? Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. Okay, and this is your mother referring to uh, seeing you're seeing seeing the light on something. Something has been shown to you. The truth, a certain truth, has been shown to you since she passed away, and you may feel hurt. You may feel burdened by this, but this is all in God's divine plan. You are in a, at a healing stage. She said you're putting the pieces together in your life all over again after some kind of heartbreak or 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 distrust that happened in your life it's okay though okay that was a part of the plan to begin with okay that was to raise your vibration wow yeah you had a tower moment and she's telling you you're gonna come out of this you had a tower moment here in your life Virgo and she's saying that you know what this could have been anything this could have been a relationship a job a, a loss of a home because at the bottom of the deck I have the four of ones this could have been a home's loss or whatever a rental situation but you're going to get out of it it's going to take you a minute and just take your time and climb back up that ladder and this could be love too or uh, this could be saying open up for love after you've broken up with somebody or they've broken up for you 
Oh, be open for love. Be open for for love to come into your life. It's like take your time, take baby steps to get there, because love is coming. But right now, you're you're going through some hurt, right? Right now, and you want justice. Justice is going to be on your side. And and like I said, you this is a divine plan for you, for you to let go of what no longer served you. You probably were with this person, and they weren't the right person for you anyway. So it ended to your dismay but don't worry about it that's that's the way God had it planned out for you all right and this is why you had it you're headed toward more than you have you could have ever imagined and this is this is what your mother wants you to know and understand don't stay focused on something don't stay focused on on the little because you got so much more to look forward to you got an over I'm sending you an over abundance of blessings to you that's your mother's hand reaching out and saying I got you I got everything you need and she still loves you with all of her heart, with all of her might, with all of her soul, period. And she wants you to love yourself just as hard. One, one, one. That's confirmation. I saw one, one, one. Wow. Mm. It's hard, you know, losing your mother and, and, and trying to, to get over her and, and move on with your life and, and maybe some of you have had a sign or asked for a sign. If you did, it's possible possibly could be your sign that she's communicating with you through this reading or other readings that you may pull up and watch you know <clears throat> but you know only you'll be able to make that determination I'm going to get some final messages from your mom to you okay mom what messages do you have for the earthlies please on the other side messages for Virgo from mom on the other side A message for Virgo from mom in heaven, what do you want? Her to want? What do you want the Virgos to know, mom in heaven? Let's see. What message here? Union of two souls. She's sending you a soulmate. Making decisions. This decision-making card literally keeps coming out. You have to make a decision. Yep, I was going to say that too. And we have positive transition. Give me a final. Unfounded fear and crisis and disappointment. Okay, so we have a union of two souls, decision making, and karmic, karmic, karmic bond. So you got two people to choose from: somebody brand new, your true soulmate, and somebody from your past who is this karmic bond. You still connected to him or her because you still have feelings for this person. Okay, but you have to decide between these two people: who do you want, the new or the old? You're going to make a positive transition with this new person. You have unfounded fear because you really don't know exactly what what's coming for you in love, but you have a beautiful connection. Remember. Remind yourself that that was a karmic bond you were in. It ended and, and you went through a crisis and disappointment phase in your life because that person unexpectedly broke you down. They broke your heart. They lied to you. They cheated on you. However the situation was, it was over with. And she's just letting you know, I'm sending you a soulmate. So you got to make a decision. Okay? Got to make a decision. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And she's saying, I send you loving signs through nature, maybe butterflies. I heard somebody, I was watching something online today. They said they saw purple butterflies. Okay, that may be your favorite color, purple, uh, maybe blue or whatever. Or just you like to look at butterflies. Okay, she's sending you loving signs. They, um, I was getting ready to get on the elevator at work the other day. Significance maybe about the number five. I was on the fifth floor, saw a... Um, a feather on the floor before I got on the elevator so you may be seeing signs and synchronicities from your mother who's passed away she's letting you know I'm there don't be in your feelings about something because we have this water here don't be in your feelings don't don't get nervous about something and don't be afraid to fall in love don't be afraid to be happy don't be afraid to, to not to it's like don't be afraid not to think about me every day if that makes sense don't be afraid not to think of think about me every day. I'm always with you. I'm always around you. Remember me as I will remember you, but I'm always there around you. So don't feel guilty, Virgo, about saying, Oh, I didn't think about I didn't talk about I didn't want to I didn't talk about mama. I didn't think about mama. We always think about our mother. She's no longer with us. But in our mind, we're probably doing so many other things in our life. She's still there. She wants you to know that. Don't feel guilty about not allowing her mind, her name, or her memory to run across your energy field every day. At least once or twice a day or more. Don't feel guilty about that. Okay? 
I think that's it. Oh, uh, what else was I going to say? Mm, I forgot. <laughs> about a truck I heard something about a red truck don't know where that's coming from a red truck <sighs> oh I know what it is um some of you or should I say some of us are hearing back are hearing back from exes it's going to be more and more repetition of exes calling back to communicate to literally tell you how they feel about us okay how they feel about you um this is the perfect opportunity whether you whether you're with them or not to, to ask them why they did the things that they did to you so you can find closure you may not be with that person because you do have a, a soulmate coming into your life but if you still have feelings with them and want to work it out okay but some of this is and also a, a karmic bond but not for all but this is the perfect opportunity for you to sit down and tell this person how they made you feel how what they did to you how it devastated you and how it really broke you down and hurt you that's another thing that your mother want you to do that's something that i'm recommending that you do but you don't have to but it's more so like so you can get those answers the questions answered that you never thought would ever take place some of you may just say fuck it i'm done but if you need that closure this is the perfect opportunity because they're coming through and they're coming through 100 percent wanting to wanting to communicate with you and they are going to be truthful and honest as to why they ended and the end of the connection with you or why they weren't ready at that time for what you're ready for now all of a sudden they're going to say i'm ready i want to do this i want to be with you you are the one for me my soulmate however it is it's going to come out of their mouth is is a deep conversation is coming between you and that ex okay because ultimately they want you back they know where they fucked up at but hmm we know how that go huh all right y'all see y'all later